I get this asked a lot. Um, this is, I guess I'll just start off with this. What software am I using to um, project myself onto my screen and to uh, make my background go away? So that's a question I kind of get off asked quite often. Um, and what I use is OBS Studios. It's a, a free software. Um, I can make myself bigger. I can make myself smaller. Um, so very cool tool to use. Um, it might be a little confusing to start, but uh, I definitely highly recommend it. Um, it does not come with this uh, screen right here. Um, well, it does come with a screen, but it doesn't allow you to... Um, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It doesn't allow you to kind of remove your uh, background from you, like a green screen. I actually don't have a green screen behind me. Um, I actually use Chroma Cam. This is Chroma Cam. Um, it allows me to take out the background or add backgrounds. So as you can see here, I can change the backgrounds of different things. And uh, it just allows me to do a lot of cool things. And have filters. Uh, this is my house. Um, so it just allows for cool things, slides, um, you know, all sorts of craziness. So I can add a logo, uh, wherever that shows, I think it shows over here. Um, but all sorts of cool things. I really like it. Um, it says top right corner, but I don't see it. Oh, there it goes. So I changed it to the bottom left corner. I can change, add my logo and make it bigger or smaller. Uh, so very cool stuff. I really only use um, this one just because it makes myself look transparent and I think that's pretty cool. This is actually a free uh, software, OBS Studios, so I highly recommend it. Um, this I believe is like $15 to $25 one-time fee, um, so it just allows you to uh, you know, create this cool thing. I actually am going to change that logo off. There. So. Uh, very cool tool. A second tool that I use for actually um, streaming live and all sorts of fun stuff is uh, StreamYard. I really love StreamYard when I do interviews. Um, I need to actually to do more podcast interviews coming up. Um, if you end up getting StreamYard, which is a lot easier to use, I think, um, then uh, definitely uh, use my affiliate link if you want. Um, I really like this software because it allows you to do side by side. Um, so like if uh, someone else was in here, I can do it side by side. I can share my screen pretty easily. It's more user friendly, I think, but it definitely uh, does work really well. Um, I, I switch between them. If I'm going solo typically uh, or needing to share my whole screen or I don't want to um, show my background or whatever, then I, I just definitely use um, uh, OBS, but for interviews and stuff, I use StreamYard. It makes it easy. Plus, they, uh, they, um, I guess, uh, make it easy to download, right? So you get a high quality version, and they save those backgrounds. Um, moving forward, uh, some other tools that I use. I use Canva a lot to do all my um, uh, words or my posts. Um, I have quite a lot here. Uh, these are all I've done myself. Um, I use it for my profile image. I use it for posts. I'm not fancy. What's up, Graham? Um, with uh, Photoshop, just too difficult for me or time consuming. I don't really care to learn. Um, but I use this a lot. Um, when I do like 3D images or 3D text like this one, um, the boring passive uh, penguin um, or high ticket pro, like these are fonts but what i do is sometimes i wonder if it's on this one i don't think it is no um it look kind of looks like it's popped um what you can do is just put a image like this and what i do is i'll just make a copy of this and put a color behind it and makes it pop a little bit more and you can zoom in zoom out so it kind of gives it that that 3d look in a sense so I use that a lot to do posts, um, and uh, Canva's free too. I actually think I pay for the premium version, um, which like uh, removes backgrounds and stuff like that. Uh, so like when I remove the background for say, let's see here, 
like um, let me find one of my designs like this one I guess so this one this image was just me um, I believe desktop maybe yeah so this image was obviously the, the first image uh, yep uh, canva remove.bg canva actually has this function for remove uh, I love remove.bg but you can actually just uh, go to effects and remove background right here when I'm trying to do it fast I'll use remove.bg um, but uh, both are very good I have not looked at draw let's see draw.io Similar, uh, so this is uh, shapes and that sort of thing. Pretty cool tool. I don't use it, but I actually use Sketchpad, um, Sketch.io, which uh, allows me to do all sorts of fun things. You can do calligraphy, tool brush, pen. Um, they have text, uh, little shapes. Like whenever I do like my uh, talk about investments, uh, I always do a little clip art for the houses. So this is another free tool that I really love. Um, that you can use. Amazing. Some girl, I forgot her name, showed it to me. Uh, I don't think I talk to her anymore, but uh, a very good tool to use. Um, what else do I use? Um, so I use the Digital Tycoon. Um, and so with the Digital Tycoon, I use it to do my, all my sales funnels. Um, I can pull this up has sales funnels, it has a website, it has a membership site. So uh, if you have all your products here and that sort of thing, um, let's see here. Escaping the digital rat race, partnerships, um, the digital tycoon, social tycoon. Um, so you can do build a membership site, you can do your sales funnels. Um, yes, I, I grant my love uh, Sketchpad. I use it quite a bit. Um, you can have your full blown on conversations built in. So like every email that you sent out, every uh, text message, mini chat, uh, what's up Ralph, anything like that, very easy to use. Uh, I wouldn't say it's very easy to use. I think it does it does a lot more than click funnels and groove funnels and drop funnels and all those different ones. Um, it just is made for agency owners. Um, shows all the opportunities, so people in your pipeline, reporting, schedule, so built, you don't need Calendarly anymore. Um, so I have all my calendar set for like podcasts, reputation manager, that sort of thing. So like Ben says, uh, once you, in a while you come across someone that truly wants to help you succeed online and that person is Brandon, always providing such value and he will guide you on your path to success. 100% recommended, everyone follow him and get to know him personally, you won't regret it and you will learn so much. So that was nice. Um, and then like your contact list, your funnels, triggers, all that fun stuff. Uh, this is where I build uh, my sales funnels. Um, and then I actually recently, so if you look at my website, themoneyfriends.com, this is actually built on WordPress um, so that I can use it for organic uh, SEO and then all my sales funnels are connected to this. So uh, this just allows me to get organic traffic and then it allows me to get, um, uh, if I do paid traffic towards my uh, sales funnels, then that's what the sales funnels are for, to optimize your sales process, right? Um, so this is another tool that I use that we own actually. Um, this is the super Facebook tools. And if you go to, well, this is the website right here, super Facebook tools, I'll show you what it does. Um, it has your birthday greeter. I actually need to update it. It has a to-do list. So I need to go to the dentist, check my eyes, uh, create the program, hundred true fans. Has all my leads. This is where like my dream 100 is. This is where people that you know ha might have been interested in our software, where I can easily follow up with them, um, like Graham, uh, interested in partnership. So I can send all those people a message um, that were maybe interested in, uh, you know, some kind of program that I had. It just allows me to segment my audience a lot more, and so I can just send all those people messages, and they'll. Uh, send them out at 11.10, 11.18, 11.26, 11.34, 11 so it spaces it more and just allows me to easily follow up with people. Um, auto greeter, so if I have new friends that come in, um, the gradient build shape behind your pick. 
Great question, Jay. So let me go back over to Canva. And that was just uh, using Canva. So like on here, all I did was I went to elements, I believe, and there's gradients built in um, right here. So this is just a gradient. Um, gradient. Very easy to use. Um, they have all sorts of different gradients. All these are free, I believe. Um, I believe the only thing that's not free is like the pictures. Um, Photo Pro, like you get some pictures, but um, and animation. So there's some animated stuff like this that, excuse me, that will allow you to um, animate some of this stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, what else? So let me go back to the software. So this just allows me to, uh, so like all my new friends here. Yeah, uh, I love Canva. It's a easy tool. This is a great, uh, this is how like I automatically follow up, uh, message my new friends. Just makes it easy to um, build connections because Facebook's all about touch points. The more touch points you have with someone, uh, the more you're able to um, kind of dominate their feed because the more that you're liking, the more that they're commenting and replying back, the more that they message you on Facebook, um, invite you to things, all those things add up and it just uh, puts points on the Facebook algorithm, which allows you to dominate the feed, um, all sorts of other things. Um, I can add friends based on keywords, so I, I select a group. Um, I add keywords like marketing, director, um, what do I have? Affiliates, marketing, and directors. Um, I'll just sync my groups and I'll send them all messages just to build out my, um, my groups, not my groups, my uh, Facebook feed. And then obviously if you have a group, um, you can Anyone who's like requesting access, you can download their questions, send them and upload them through Zapier into the Digital Tycoon. So it just allows you to build your email list fast too. So very, uh, very cool tool. Um, we also have a Instagram tool. Actually, let me go back. Um, so use Canva, I showed you StreamYard, uh, WordPress. Um, I use Trello. Um, I'm kind of getting used to it. I'm not a big fan, but obviously I, I just more use it for ideas. Um, but uh, as you can see here, I have a, a blog post that I'm putting out with uh, pretty much going over your profile, uh, finding your audience, groups, content, uh, all that stuff. It was taken actually from my 33 page uh, blueprint that broke the internet. So I'm repurposing it and re-updating it. Uh, and you guys can get all this for free. Uh, this blueprint if you want. Uh, it's 29 pages. It just kind of goes over how to build your ecosystem and how to uh, you know, find uh, your perfect audience. So I'm redoing that actually to uh, a blog post and I'm adding groups and stuff because I feel like Facebook's going and pushing more people towards groups and limiting even more uh, organic reach on social media uh, for your profile image. So if you want that, just go ahead and drop a comment, uh, hashtag ebook, and I'll, I'll send it to you right after this. Uh, makes it super easy. It's just, uh, it's a quick read. It's only 29 pages. So um, I'll just send that to you guys if you guys are interested in that. Um, I also have my Instagram tool that, um, if I don't know if you guys use Instagram, let me actually get the, that, uh, Actually, I'm going to shut off my screen oh, yeah, I'm sure, so I can log in because actually, I wonder if I have that. Uh, Tools.digitalsecoon. Mm -mm -mm. I need to get the password. Um, let me see how I can block this for a second. I'm going to block this so I can uh, find the password and because we just launched this, uh, it's in beta, so if you guys want to get in on this uh, before we actually go live with it, then um, that is something you guys can definitely do. Um, let me do this. I actually haven't, did I screw something? Oh, I know why.
know there's nothing on my screen right now. Um, I'm very aware of that because um, I am, let me double check that I'm, I actually shut off my screen. Um, I just need to uh, install this. But yes, if you have any questions, I'm 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 just I'm looking at the comment section while I install uh, our new software. It's actually that new. I haven't installed it yet. Um, so give me a second. I apologize. Um, just going off the cusp here. So um, you know, if it screws up and tanks, then you know that it's not a good product. If it's um, if it's amazingly epic, then um, you should probably buy it if you use Instagram because it's going to be amazingly epic. All right, so we got that installed. Uh, let's just do extension. Um, so, Sean, your question is what funnel cloner did I use before? So, if um, If you use ClickFunnels currently and uh, you want to clone other ClickFunnels uh, softwares, actually I'll go over that right now because I, let me just do one thing. All right, so let me turn back on my, my display. All right, so, um, Sean asked me what cloner do I use and if you're looking to clone funnels um, like I use the digital tycoon this is our software that we uh, have access to um, so let me go to the money friends and I'll show you so it's just a test funnel so with the digital tycoon you can actually just uh, download any ClickFunnels step it makes it super easy. I have this in another video where I show you guys how you can literally turn a ebook and use it as a high generating uh, lead magnet to start building your list really easily. Um, it's in one of my videos before. I actually posted a video on YouTube recently on how from start to finish how to do that um, and build your own lead generation funnel. Uh, I will add a link onto the YouTubes so you guys can check that out. It's about 16 minutes and it's, it's well worth it. But um, I'll just do ClickFunnels to make it easy. ClickFunnels.com, opt-in, and boom. So this will import uh, the whole ClickFunnels uh, page. So if you use uh, ClickFunnels or uh, anything like that, then, and you want to clone, then you have to find another piece of software. But if you're looking to you know, switch from shit funnels and get a better software, then I can definitely uh, hook you up with that. But this will download uh, any ClickFunnels step that you have access to. And as you can see, it's just doing it for me uh, in a matter of like 30 seconds. So as you can see here, ClickFunnels, 14-day um, free trial, um, you know everything that is there very easy to do um, so yeah pretty cool um, I, I love it but uh, let me just delete this and I, I would obviously you're not plagiarizing you're using it as a way to uh, not start with the blank slate you're using it so that you can actually uh, start with something as a template and then um, that, like to kind of give you ideas of wording and that sort of stuff um, so to go back to Instagram, if you guys use Instagram, this is a tool that we're coming out with. Um, please visit Instagram. Yeah. Perfect. So uh, as you can see, I we just installed this. Um, I never used it before. Um, brand new, 1.0. This is in beta. So if you guys use Instagram, uh, this might be for you too. Um, we have our Facebook tool, which I showed you guys earlier, which will wish people birthdays. Um, all that fun stuff. Uh, we'll scrape, we'll remove friends based on you know how many mutual friends they have, engagement tracker, all that fun stuff. But th those are beta tools right now, so 
not really uh, important, so let me shut those off. Um, but Instagram, for instance, let's go to Instagram. Um, and let's go to like, let's go to something small here. So as you can see, this little uh, Forbes Riley uh, made this post, 26 likes, and it's pretty new, it seems like. And this little button pops up uh, to download. Um, save data successfully. Use the, da the below link to see the data. Um, please visit the Instagram. Okay. So, um, let's see if this works. Maybe it doesn't. As I said, I'm just trying this out, so um, maybe it hasn't installed yet. Okay, maybe it hasn't installed yet. So ultimately what it's supposed to do, um, and it's not working right now, but um, that's why it's a start. Bummer. Because this is actually when I was demoing it earlier with a buddy of mine. Uh, it shows some very cool stuff. Anyways, we'll worry about that later. Um, Anyways, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to download all the likes and the comments of that particular person uh, that have engaged in that, uh, I guess, post. And then it shows you the difference of people that have actually followed you versus hasn't, haven't followed you, and you can add them uh, automatically. So it's a very cool tool if you use Instagram. It's kind of what we built it off for Facebook. Um, for instance, when you're trying to add new friends based on keywords, we're doing it the same thing with Instagram. Uh, so that people can build both social medias at the same time uh, on autopilot. So it just makes it a lot easier. Um, what else do I use? Mm -mm. Facebook, StreamYard, Canva, The Digital Tycoon. Um, I think that's about it. Um, oh, I use uh, Anchor FM and Camtasia. So whenever I do uh, a post, um, and do live. So for instance, when I go live, I'll take my um, video from either StreamYard or OBS Studios um, and I'll download it, right? And then I'll go to Camtasia. And I'll upload the, the media really easily. Let's just do this one. Um, and so let's pretend this was a podcast. Um, I can just drop on my, uh, my intro. My outro. And then I just extract that audio right here. Export audio. And then I uh, usually just download the file and I upload the video ver version to YouTube. And then I go and take that video, uh, the audio version, I go to Anchor FM, and I upload it to Anchor FM. And this just allows me to um, do both YouTube. Uh, it allows me to post to Anchor FM, which then shoots all my podcasts to iTunes, to Spotify, to Breaker, to Google. Um, to you know a few other ones that I can't remember. It's like seven or eight different ones. Um, so that's how I put out content really fast is I just do all those. I mean, that literally took me like 30 seconds to download my video that was alive to uh, put it on Camtasia, put the intros and outros in, and then upload it to uh, YouTube, and then upload it to Facebook. For YouTube, I actually, Use um, TubeBuddy, which is this. Um, it allows you to get keyword researches and all that fun stuff. Um, it allows you to kind of get some analytics and keyword research and all sorts of fun things. So those are all the tools I pretty much use. Um, StreamYard, OBS Studios, Canva, 
uh, Facebook with Facebook super uh, super Facebook tools, and then for Instagram I use um, super Instagram tools, and then uh, for YouTube we use TubeBuddy for keyword research, and I also have used um, what is that other one? Uh, Vid IQ, which I actually really like. Um, I just didn't think it, I think the keyword research was really good. I just didn't feel like it helped as much as um, what I was doing. So it didn't really, the trajectory I, I noticed didn't really help too much. Um, and that's just gonna come with time obviously because with anything you do online, uh, it just takes time to ramp up, uh, to get your name out there, to, uh, like you're not gonna be a celebrity overnight. Like you need to build a following and then it, obviously steamrolls and turns into a, um, a snowball effect, just like with anything, right? Like with debt, if you get continuously get more debt, it just steamrolls and then people have to file bankruptcy. When you start making more passive income and you start reinvesting that income, it's, it snowballs into just massive passive income. Uh, that's how we're able to um, live financially independent because we have 10 rental properties. Um, I think that's all the tools I use that I can think of. Um, email Blaster is my own software again. I use a lot of my own software. So like if I'm trying to find uh, podcasts in fitness, uh, in digital marketing, uh, on YouTube or whatever, uh, I'll just grab all their emails. So uh, I didn't update it, but Tip Talking, Elite Fitness, Matt Lane Fitness. So it gives me all their email addresses right here. So Tommy A. Marquez. Uh, profits, athletics, um, dog, snatch, fitness. So like I can just download all their emails uh, and I can email them. So as you can see, it downloaded 194 already and it's the ninth. Uh, Tommy A. Marcus, you know, athletics, dog, snatch. So it just I can just send a blast email out and say, hey, I saw your podcast. Uh, would love to interview you on my podcast. Blah, blah. I may have a script about that. It's really easy. I get about a 20% reply rate with that. Very cool. Um, what else do I use? I, Eyedropper is a very cool tool if you're looking to get a particular um, color. Like, for instance, like say you really like um, this white, off white. Like, you can pick a color from a thing, pick it, and then it will save it right here. And the color is now F9, F9. Um, I use this a lot, which just takes screenshots. This is called um, light shot. And I'm able to put little arrows to say that this fake guru um, or this fake guru, Dan, um, you know, all these people, uh, I can just point to them or whatever. Uh, make boxes, save the image. It's just a really easy tool. Um, what else do I use? I use this a lot, <laughs> Video Speed Controller. Uh, all these are, a lot of them are free actually. So with Video Speed Controller, like I have to listen to the things at two and a half, uh, two speed or above because it just, things are too slow. I think that's why I talk so fast is because I listen to everything at two speed, two and a half. Um, and it saves me a lot of time because I can uh, consume more content than uh, someone who's listening at 1.0 speed. Um, what else? Acorns, um, I mean, I love acorns. Uh, if you want passive income just from reinvesting your change into a uh, some stocks, I think I'm at like, let's see here, oh, my phone died. I think I'm at like 400 bucks um, in the last year for just investing my change and a 12% return, so that's not bad at all. Um, Bitemoji, that's probably one I really, really use too. This is uh, just, for those that want to create posts, I use this with Canva a lot. If you look at my Canva stuff and my uh, digitaltycoon.io, uh, all this was built off of Canva. This was built uh, using OBS Studios. Uh, this was built with uh, Canva and with um, Bitemoji. Bitemoji, Bitemoji. Um, uh, light shot were all these and then this is obviously the digital tycoon is the sales funnel software that I built this with uh, these are just obviously uh, our partners 
we have a lot more, but I just haven't added their video testimonials yet. Um, and this is, again, with, uh, this is with OBS Studios, this is with Canva, and then this is with LightShot. So um, that's about it. I think that, why is that missing on the top? Oh. Uh, so yeah, just discover the secret loophole that affiliates are using to make the 100% recurring pa massive passive income. And this goes over what we do. So that's all the tools I use. I hope that was helpful. Um, again, StreamYard, OBS Studios, ChromaCam. Um, I use Google Sheets, Google Docs a lot. Um, TubeBuddy, um, LightShot, Eyedropper, um, Super Facebook Tools, Super Instagram Tools, um, Email Blaster for podcasts, guests, Bitemojis to create little scenarios of yourself like this, and I think that's about it. So um, now I need to finish my blog post so that you guys uh, can have. Um, I'm going to be rewriting, like I said, my 33-page blueprint um, that I posted about, wherever it was. If you guys still want, if you guys want that, just hashtag ebook, and I'll send that over to you guys. But uh, that's it. I'm going to go finish this. Peace. Thanks so much for watching to the end of the video. It really helps the YouTube algorithm say that this content is valuable and it really just helps me put out more content. So if you could just smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications on when I post new content. Uh, the more content that I can push out that you guys like, the better we can all help each other and learn from each other. So again, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and smash that like button. That's it guys, peace.